Hi there. So I have a rare opportunity here to speak to Natalie Kalbach. Natalie is one of the teachers in the new mixed media journaling class, aren't you? Oh yeah. She I'm is. so excited. Don't talk, don't talk too much, please. Just talk when I ask you to talk. It's very, very short sentences. She talks a lot as you'll discover when you take her class, because she goes on and on about all these incredibly interesting things. But for the sake of social media, we have to be short. So I'm gonna ask her, I'm gonna talk a lot, as you can tell, and I'm gonna ask you not to talk much. No, so Natalie, so you're, you're a teacher in this class. Yep. You're also a teacher in other classes. Mm -hmm. You've been in long, uh, teaching, uh, teaching workshops and, and online for a long time. Yes. Tell me, what is mixed media journaling? Ooh. Mixed media journaling is actually anything you want it to be. Um, you use different media and the journaling part, you can decide what you want it to be. It can be either about your daily life, about your to-dos, about your thoughts, emotions. It can be a real diary or like I do, just quotes that, um, you know, you keep to uplift yourself or other people. So it's really, it's hard to press your thumb down um, there are no real rules about it. It's having fun in a secluded, um, if that's the right word, uh, like a book, you know, and it's just like this playing and trying with different mediums to express yourself and have fun. To me, the exciting part about it is sort of mucking around with art supplies. Right? Yeah. I mean, you have so many art supplies. Yeah that I've bought in the, over the years. They're sitting in boxes, sitting in drawers. And this to me is an opportunity to just get all that yes. stuff out there. So yes. I'm playing around with it, right? Yeah, that's the uh, big fun. For example, I love to paint actually. And for me, the art journaling uh, or journaling part is a way to warm up myself because you know, it's always so hard to start on a blank page and you just like, you grab, you pull up uh, like a pull, pull a drawer and you're like, okay, what's there? What should I play with? And just, you know, let loose and see what the medium gives you or does to you. Or and the same thing when I'm done with painting, I often, take my leftover paint and I just scribble it with a brush into my art journal and then the next morning I start again and it's like oh yeah it's not a blank canvas in my art journal or my journal as well right so it's a great way to kind of loosen up and just try all kinds of medium and a good excuse to buy even more. <laughs> buy more art supplies which we all, we all need that excuse yes. but it's also to me what is exciting is also it's about discovery mm. it's not like when you I mean, sometimes when you're doing a drawing, you're really worried about what it's gonna look like at the end. You wanna get it perfect, you wanna do it right. This is all about exploration, discovery. Yeah. This thing goes with that thing. Oh, I didn't expect that, let me react to that. It's like a game that unfolds all right. the time, right? So you sit down, a lot of times, That's I think every teacher in the class has said this, you sit down and you honestly have no idea what you're gonna be doing, right? right? Yeah. You, have a, you have a few materials you wanna play with and then you wanna see how they're gonna to react to each other. Right. So if you, love drawing i think this is a way of incorporating some of that thinking and even your actual drawings into it but even yes. if you're not really comfortable with drawing it's a great way to make art don't you think yeah, yeah i think because you also have been uh, at least you know everyone i know who is a mixed media journaler uh including me of course uh has the stage where it's like oh my god is this ugly stage what am i gonna do now and i think what you learn through mixed media journaling is that you overcome that fear of the ugly stage and you just keep on going and that taught me a lot about other things because i'm not a real good sketcher but it taught me to just keep on going and try again it's just a piece of paper and the same is true for mixed media journaling and now i'm quiet because that was a lot no no, no that's good that's good so <laughs> we'll stop talking now because we're going to start the class soon we have uh, just a couple weeks left for you to sign up less than two weeks i think um and you can go to sketchbookschool.com and find out more, learn more about Natalie, learn more about our other teachers. You can see some examples of what the classes can be like. And so we're all gonna start soon. It's, we're all gonna be working on this together. Kosha and I are both gonna be doing art journaling. It's gonna be a really exciting, fun time to play around with stuff, to make new discoveries and to just make art. So I hope you'll join us and uh, meanwhile, we're gonna go and uh, enjoy the day, enjoy oh, the yeah. park. Oh yeah, yeah. Fantastic, see you later. <laughs>